So today we're driving to the Stay On Main Hotel, or as it was formerly known, the Cecil Hotel. And uh, this place happens to be the site of one of the most bizarre mysteries I've ever read. All right, so we're in our hotel room now. I guess it's time to tell this story. On January 26, 2013, 21 year old Canadian tourist Elisa Lamb checked into the Cecil Hotel in downtown Los Angeles. On February 19th, 18 days from the last time she was seen, Elisa Lamb's body was found naked and floating in a four foot by eight foot water tank on the roof of the Cecil Hotel where she was staying. This sounds horrible. You wanna know what it was that led to her discovery? Uh... It was hotel guests complaining about the low water pressure from the hotel. Yikes. One couple after the fact reported that the water would come out black before normalizing and that it had a bad taste. Another interesting piece of info is from a statement from the hotel manager. And apparently when Elisa checked into the hotel, she was originally in a hostel style shared room, but later was moved to her own private room due to complaints from her roommates of odd behavior. It turns out the last time she was seen was actually on surveillance footage from the hotel elevator. All right, so this is the surveillance footage from the elevator. This is the last time she was seen. So that's her. Like why is she? It like looks like she's hiding. I'm not sure what. It looks like someone was chasing her, but I feel like you wouldn't get out of the elevator if someone was chasing you. I mean, she appears to be moving her hands in like a really weird, inhuman way. Like, How is the elevator doors not closed yet? I have no idea. It almost looks like she's talking to somebody right now, right? Does it not look like she's talking to somebody directly in front of her? Yeah. I mean, not directly in front of her, down the hall, but... I mean, there's no one in front of her, so... Yeah, that's, okay. That's the video, I mean... Point one, that's strange. That's I'll give you that. super strange, right? Well, that doesn't really give us any information. I mean, it gives you some theories, though. One of which was she was on hallucinogens or drunk. And while Elisa was in fact bipolar and reportedly took four different medications for that disorder, this theory that she was on hallucinogens or drunk was quickly rebuked by the fact that her toxicology test results came back with nothing in her system that could have contributed to her death. So, yeah, but I'm, that, if she's bipolar just right there, that could explain why she was doing that. It's it, possible. Yeah. Uh, another theory was that she was actually murdered, but the autopsy showed no visible signs of trauma on her body. So if evidence suggests that it wasn't foul play and that it wasn't drugs, many wonder what could have like led Elisa to actually climb in the tank herself. And that's a good question because nobody knows even how she got up there. I mean, in fact, to get to the roof, Elisa would have to either A, climb up the fire escape, and there's three at the hotel, but you'd have to go out a window to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, B, go through a locked rooftop door that would set off an alarm if open, and no alarm was heard that day. Mm -hmm. Once she even got up there, which at this point, after seeing that video, I think it's highly unlikely she was able to do that, but okay, fair enough, she got up there somehow. She would have to get on the tank platform, climb up a 10 foot ladder, open a 20 pound lid, get into the tank, and somehow close the fucking lid after she got in. And then you like, also gotta remember she was naked, so that means she either took her clothes off before, or, or the somehow. clothes never found. The clothes were found in the tank. So she must have taken mm. the clothes off in the tank. Or they were thrown in. Afterwards. Or they were thrown in, exactly, yeah. This whole scenario to me is fishy. Yeah, uh, definitely fishy. For her to have done that all herself. Um, another popular theory, and you're not gonna like this, but I have to say it, is uh, ghosts. If you look at the video, it appears as if Elisa is talking to someone right outside the elevator, which has led some on the internet to believe that she's talking to the ghost of serial killer Richard Ramirez, who was convicted of 13 murders and stayed in the Cecil Hotel from 1984 to 1985. It's also worth noting that Ramirez was a known Satanist, and that's really just the tip of the iceberg for the Cecil. It also played home to Austrian serial killer Jack Unterweger in 1991, was the site of an unsolved murder in 1964, and was also, according to some, one of the last places the Black Dahlia was seen alive. And to pile it on even more, there have been numerous accounts of people who have jumped to their death from the roof of the Cecil to the point where longtime residents refer to the hotel as the suicide. Authorities ultimately ruled Elisa's death was an accidental drowning. I'm just feeling bad for the family whose people are like- And that's exactly what my next point was gonna yeah. be. It's like lost in all the madness is the family. Yes. Who also actually filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the hotel, Good. which was eventually dismissed. What? But. Like I said before, the, the real tragedy is to the family.